So over here, you can see that we have our character and now let's apply walk behavior onto it. So in order to apply walk behavior, I'm going to go on to the rig view for this character, which I want to apply the walk behavior to. So over here, in order to apply the walk behavior, first of all, you have to make sure that all of the points has been assigned. Let's say, for example, in the uh, right profile right here, if I were to go to eyes, mouth and everything else, you can see that all of them are assigned with a handle right over here. So this is necessary for the walk behavior to actually take action. So now in order to add the behavior, I'm going to select the main character right here. And then over here on the behavior section, I'm going to click on the plus button and then I'm going to add in walk. So once I add in walk, you can see all the behavior options right here and the mode is immediate. Meaning if I were to go to record, then the character starts walking. But wait, the head just disappeared. That is because we haven't arranged out the head in proper layerings according to what is required by the walk cycle. I can go over here onto walk right here and then change the mode from immediate to left and right arrow keys. And now what happens is that once I press the left arrow key, it walks left, right arrow key, it walks right. But there's an error right here. There's a third leg right there. And then as it faces uh, in, in the front, it, uh, the character's face is here as well. So that is not something we want. So let's just go ahead and adjust these things out. So I'm going to go on to the frontal part right here. That's the frontal left and right profile right here. So what I want to do is for the head, I want to uh, add, add in the layer right here. So what I want to do is add in uh, um, this layer uh, right here for the head onto left and right profiles right here so that it actually follows out and shows up in uh, the walk cycle. So for that, I need to adjust that out in uh, Photoshop itself that is in the source file arrange out the layers so I'm just going to click on edit original and it'll open that out in Photoshop right there just like that so as it loads right there I'm just going to wait around for a bit and over here it's loaded so let's just go over here on to right profile and over here on top of the body I'm just going to create a new folder and then I'm going to say that this is uh, plus head right over here and then this is the right profile so I'm just going to go on to the head right here and then the right profile right here on the head I'm just going to bring it on the right profile right here and for the left profile I'm just going to go around and I'm going to add in a new folder right here and this is going to be plus head again and then over here on the left profile I'm going to go around and drag in the left profile head right here. So this is the frontal head is there. The left profile head on this folder right over here. So now you can see that it is here. So you can see that it is there along with that. So let me just go around and then save this out just like that and enable everything out just like this. Save it and then close Photoshop. So the uh, layers have been arranged out just like this and it'll be updated right here as you can see right there. So if I were to go to record, let's see now. So we have the scene right here, press right. And now you can see the heads there as well, but it is not moving along with the body as you can see. So we just need to uh, disable out the uh, independent layer. So I'm just going to go around right here on the head just like that. So just disable the independent for right profile and then disable the independent for left profile as well. So there's the right profile and then disable for this one as well. Once you go to record right here, go right. Okay, so let's just go ahead and then work around with these. All right, so there's you go. there you go. There's the head right there. The left profile head is there. And let's just go ahead right here. Okay, left, right, and still not working out quite well right here. So on the left profile, everything is here. Left profile is fine. And then there's the body right over here as well. So we just need to disable out the independent layers right here so that they stick together right over here. Now you can see that on the left, it actually just sticks together just like that, as you can see. But there's a distortion right there. So we just need to go around and then add in independent layers on the required one. So I need to go over here for, except for the neck, I'm just going to enable the independent layers right here, just like this. And let's go to record right over here. So let's just take uh, right here and then go around with these. So uh, just like that, torso, let's just uh, disable the independent layer for that. Let's just go around, 
Yeah, it seems much more better now, as you can see right over there. So now, but still, there's a leg in between that. If I were to walk on to the left, as you can see, so I can go over here on to uh, the left, and there's the uh, left leg and whatever there is, there's an extra layer right over here in between, just like this. So I do not need that, and I need to disable that one out. So we need to open up the source file for that. But let's go on to the right profile first and then edit these things out. So we need to uh, disable the independent layer in torso and neck and that should solve it right over here as well. So you can see that there's left right over here. So the character is working out. So I just need to adjust this out right here oh, on this one as well. So let me just uh, go around with the transform tool and transform the scale this out, scale this character out right here. Let's see. On the right side, like the hand is uh, actually be uh, below the uh, feet. I don't want that. So let's just go around on to the right profile right here. That's the right leg right here, as you can see. Um, so let's just go around and then the arm should be on the top, just like this. The arm should be on the top, just like that. Now let's just go around right here and see. All right. So now arms is at the top. Okay. So. Both of the arms are there. I don't want that. I want the left arm to be below uh, the torso right here, but the right arm to be above the leg. Yes, that's what I want. So let's just go around. And yeah, this is more like it and much more natural as you can see right over there. So if I were to go over here onto rig again, I can do the same with the uh, left profile as well. So I'm just going to go around over here. There's the right arm, right leg. Let's just see if that is fine. So I guess for the right time, right one, it is fine. We just need to rinse out the extra leg that is just popping up right there. So uh, extra leg is there, left leg. Okay, that's it. So this is fine. I guess I just need to uh, disable out other profiles right here. So just going to go around, disable this profile and disable uh, not the left profile. Yeah, okay. Enable the left profile just like that. Okay, so we got some extra body part right over here. So let's just disable this. That's fine. Arm is fine. Torso. Let's just disable the neck out right over here. And disable the left leg. All right. Disable the left leg and the right leg. I guess like both of them are disabled, but still like there is. Okay, so that's fine right there as you can see. So it is hidden out in some other layer that we don't know of. So I'm just going to go around into torso and maybe in torso it's hidden out uh, something. So let's just go ahead into record right here. Yeah, it's in the torso right over here. So if I were to disable all of these, so it's kind of like you got a troubleshoot on what doesn't work and then go around. You can see that there's the torso right there and the torso has the leg inside. So we can just disable, oh yeah, there's the right leg right here. We can just disable that out or we can delete out it from the main source file. So if I were to go around to record, you can see that now it is fine. So I can just go back and enable everything out now. The neck, the light, right arm, left arm, and everything else right over there. And then once I enable all of these, now the walk cycle is quite okay. So you can see that that is there and that is there as well, just like that. The head actually tracks down with uh, the webcam itself. So it stays still right over there. So arms now, we got to see like uh, certain things that needs to be adjusted. So you can see that that is fine. In fact, it's walking on the left side. You might want to edit out every lines and everything else in the other software. But over here on left side, it's fine. But over here on the right side, you can see that uh, it is not actually working around quite well on the neck part right here. So you can just go around on the profile that you want to work with, uh, just like that on the right profile, you can go around onto the neck just like this. And then what you can do is you can just drag this around over here, just like this, or uh, just go over here and then go around and then drag the neck around a bit to adjust that out according to what uh, fits just like that. You can go around and then on the record right here, you can just go around and that is how it works. So go on to the rig again, again and then move around the neck a bit to the back just like that adjust them out go on to record just like this and that is how you can adjust that that thing out right over there so uh there's the neck there's the head so on the head i'm just going to go around disable out the independence so that the neck actually moves along just like that as you can see and then it looks much more natural so the leg right here is right on the top as you can see so as 
the character actually walks out, the leg is too much onto the top. So we can adjust that out as well, right over here. So on the uh, body part, if I were to go on to the right leg, just like this, I can just pull this out just like that a bit below so that as uh, this moves, you can see that it is not too much onto the top right over there. I can go over here, move it a bit onto the left. It not, should not look very weird. Okay, so just like that, now it is quite fine, as you can see. On the left, you have the same problem with uh, the left leg. So I'm just going to minimize this, enable this out, enable this, and then go around right here. Uh, go on to the uh, right leg, go on a bit towards the back and onto the bottom, just like this and then go on to record right over here and you can see that that is fine now. So just like that, it is uh, just okay. It's too much on to the bottom again. So just on the top a bit, just like that, go on to record and then yeah, that's fine. That's a bit fine as well, just like that. So you can see that you can uh, make adjustment over here. So you got character in the front, so enable that out as well. So let's enable the uh, character from the front left profile Turn both of these on, go on to record right here, just like this. So left is there, right is there, just like that. And that's it. We have our character and the walk cycle is ready, just like that, as you can see. So that is how you can adjust it. So you, you, you can see that the leg is actually coming, but you just need to uh, ar arrange it out. So you got position based as well. So you got like a breathing thing go going on right here. You can have immediate walk right over here as well. You can have left and right arrow keys so that it actually works around. And that is how you can apply walk behavior and correct minor uh, uh, glitches and minor design errors to actually match around with the walk cycle that your character has. And then of course, we there's a lot more to walk behavior and that's something we're going to take a look at in next lesson. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.